Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can find out the resisting torque or resisting couple on a mechanism if a force is applied on a link. That is the static for the static equilibrium of the mechanism. How you can find out the torque or the couple. In the previous videos, I have told you how you can draw the velocity and acceleration diagrams, how you can find out the radius of curvature using Euler's Avery equation and I have also told you how uh, you can draw velocity and acceleration diagrams for the questions involving Coriolis components. Now in this video I am going to tell you how you can find out the resisting torque so that the mechanism remains in equilibrium. Before starting with the video I am suggesting you that if you have not watched my previous videos please watch them by clicking on the links in the description. Also, you can check out the books of Medizy. If you want, you can buy at a discounted price from the description links. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And now starting with the video. Since like this was the question that the force here force is applied that is 80 Newton at an angle of 150 degree at point E on this li link CD. And uh, AD is the fixed link, AB is the crank, BC is the coupler, DC is the output link. So point on point E that is on link CD a force is applied of 80 Newton of 80 Newton 150 degree at 150 degree angle and now since the force will be applied so the link will move now in order to resist the movement how much torque should be applied on the link AB in clockwise direction since this force is acting in this direction so it will try to rotate it in anti-clockwise sense so we have to apply resisting torque in opposite sense that is clockwise sense now we have to apl apply clockwise torque on AB in order to the so that the mechanism remains in equilibrium alright now this was the mechanism that here it was 120 degree, it was 265 degree, it was 72 degree and force was 150 degree, 180 newton at 150 degree. Now I am calling the fixed link as 1, this is 2, coupler as 3 and output link as 4. Now how to tackle this problem? Now first of all it can be done by two ways. First way is analytical method and second is graphical method. I am suggesting you not to use analytical method because it is very lengthy and there are many chances of calculation mistakes. So in this video I am going to tell you how you can solve by graphical method. This is an easy approach and it can be applied to any problem. Now starting how to start first since this is the output link CD on it a force is applied 80 Newton 150 degree so by taking the links one by one that that is this is link this is link BC now I am drawing separate links and then I will show the forces you have to draw draw the links separately free body diagrams now on link BC that is from 2 to 3 the force will be in this direction and from 4 to 3 force will be in this direction so this I have shown by arrows alright similarly on link AB from 3 to 2 force will be in this direction and from 1 to 2 it will be in this direction in order to make it a couple these two forces have to be opposite and uh, in order to make a couple the direction of F12 will be in this direction alright and now we have to find this couple this couple is F32 into this perpendicular distance and so our answer will be opposite to that because this is forming an anti-clockwise couple means what we have to do 
the anti clockwise couple that was generated here i am just transferring it here what is the anti clockwise couple generated here then in order to cancel out so what will be the resisting couple so it would be in clockwise sense f32 is in this direction f12 is in this direction so they will be making anti clockwise anti clockwise so our resisting couple will would be clockwise all right now to find this couple we need f32 since f12 we don't know f32 can be found out by this all right now how to find now this is the link cd this is link cd c d and uh, this is link cd here at point e force is applied so now what we have to do since line of action now remember that how to tackle we have to find f32 all right and f32 3 2 lies on link 3 and also we have on this link cd we have forces 3 to 4 and 1 to 4 all right means 1 is applying on 4 and 3 is applying on 4 so 3 is applying on 4 in this direction only that is in this direction only because 4 to 3 is in this direction so 3 to 4 is in this direction opposite to this all right so this is f34 understood now you extend this force f you make 150 degree at 150 degree you extend and then wherever it intersects this line this line that is wherever it intersects bc link the there there you mark a point then the line joining d point and this point this will be line of action of f14 all right now this was f this was f34 here we have to take 34 not 43 because 34 implies that force applied by link 3 on 4 and this we are considering analysis on link 4 all right now f34 is in this direction this we know f so now taking a vector parallel to because we have found that line of action of f14 is in this direction so force f14 will be in this direction so we can take this vector here or we can draw parallel line from parallel line to this from this point e so i have drawn parallel line to this from e so it will it would be this line now wherever it intersects this this uh, bc link wherever this intersects so this will be f34 this magnitude this magnitude is 34 now since f was 80 newton so you measure by a scale that how much is this so I have measured so 80 Newton is equal to 4 centimeter all right now since this is known this we have found out by superimposing that is by transposing this this line from here to here that is making parallel here so f14 need not to be find out so f34 you measure this distance from here to here you measure this distance from here to here you measure the distance now I have measured it comes out to be 2.35 centimeter this was 4 centimeter this came out to be 2.35 centimeter this was 80 Newton so corresponding correspondingly this became 47 Newton all right f34 at 2.35 centimeter since 4 centimeter 80 Newton 1 centimeter 20 Newton so you multiply by 20 here 47 Newton f34 all right now 
since f34 means from 3 to 4 and 4 to 3 they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so we can write f34 is equal to minus f43 is equal to f23 is equal to minus f32 because these lie on the same line we have found f34 here in this direction in this direction this is the arrow in this direction it is f34 so f43 is in opposite direction again from 2 to 3 it acts in this direction so 2 3 and 3 4 they are equal in magnitude as well as direction and f32 it is opposite to f23 or f32 is equal to f43 all right so finally from this equation f34 is equal to minus f43 is equal to f23 is equal to minus f32 so f32 comes out to be minus 47 newton all right now the couple that it generates that is on this link ab that is the crank f32 is in this direction so f12 will be in this direction correspondingly parallel but opposite so it will form anti clockwise couple this will form anti clockwise couple all right this will form anti clockwise couple f32 and f12 so what will be that couple it will be f32 into the perpendicular distance between this all right this you know that couple is force into perpendicular distance so perpendicular distance since ab is known the length of ab is known it was 400 mm that is given in the question now you take a perpendicular from you draw the line here 400 mm correspondingly to you can take a scale also no problem you can draw this representing 400 mm so you take perpendicular from this vector to this vector so h came out to be 393 mm all right now the couple is equal to 47 newton into 393 mm that is minus 18.47 newton meter i have converted into meter that is 0.393 meter all right so couple came out to be minus 18.47 newton meter this is the couple generated by the force f32 so what so what is the couple that we need to apply that would be the same but in opposite sense that is if it is in anti clockwise sense so we have to apply in clockwise sense so we have to apply in clockwise sense all right so the answer is 18.47 newton meter but in clockwise so this is the answer for the mechanism to remain in static equilibrium we need to apply 18.47 newton meter clockwise on the link a b this is the answer all right so if you have any doubt regarding this video or you can mention in the comments below or if you want me to make another video of some other topic or you have any doubt that you want to study from me so you mention in the comment section below and please check out the links in the description also if you found if you have found this video helpful please give a big like and subscribe to my channel for more updates now thank you and uh, please keep learning keep healthy keep fit bye